What is going on guys, this is Clutch once again and welcome to another episode of Give Me That Orange Levetsy. Um As you can see on the screen, I have decided my new formation. Uh, no one really gave me any suggestions, which is a shame, but I, I came up with one like before I even, um, before the video even finished uploading. So I already had um, a formation in mind and it was for free free um, because Mac on the AA and Lavetsi were pretty out of the picture, which was annoying. So I wanted a formation that would bring him into the game a bit more, and I'd still be able to utilize my center mids, which I use a lot. Um, so yeah, um, four three three seemed like the choice, and I played two, played two games earlier. And even though I have seventy two chemistry right now, I am absolutely loving it. I won both games. First game, I won two nil after fifteen minutes because the guy rage quit. Um, for what reason I don't know. Um, probably didn't see the game going any different, so didn't want any more. And the second game uh, I won four one um, to a decent team, but um, I did go behind. Um, I went one down, and then he started getting a bit cocky, and then I ended up destroying him. So uh, I love those games. But swiftly moving on, I have to. Um, get formation and position cards for quite a few of these guys. Um, I need to change El Shirari back to a centre mid. Um, I'm actually pretty happy that I've changed formation because I do prefer El Shirari at centre mid. Uh, no idea why, I just do. Um, prefer taking the long shots from him with him and Lazari from uh, midfield. Uh, Lucas has some amazing long shots as well. Um, I almost scored an amazing volley off a corner in that 4 1 win today. But the keeper pushed it, pushed it onto the post, and then Naldo overhead kicked it in. But um, I didn't record any. Well, I did record it, but I deleted those clips because it, the game was pretty laggy. So I don't think there was any point in um, including laggy clips at the end. So if you were looking forward to that, then I'm sorry. But I'll try and play a few more games today and get a few goals in tomorrow's episode. Um, hopefully, I'll have. Um, got all the formation cards and everything and got everything up to the 9 chemistry because I want that 99 chemistry back. Uh, I wish I'd actually gone with 4-3-3 at the start because it would have saved me a lot of trouble. Um, but what can you do? Uh, this is what the whole series is about. It's about finding the right formation for Lovetsy, the right team and everything like that. Um, but on to the trading. As you can see I've been busy trading. Got 33 in my trading section. Uh, that is because I've been working on that um, silver technique and it's safe to say it I've, I've only been trading for what like an hour today actually no not even an hour um, I, it took me about five ten minutes to find all the players that I wanted to buy and I'm gonna right after I finish recording this I'm gonna go and get some more um, but it took me about five ten minutes to get all the players that I got and then I put the first set of players from earlier today and yesterday up and it's safe to say this is a good technique. Um, I went from 3k coins that I left up yesterday to around 7k and then I went and spent another 5k on players I think and then a few more players sold uh, like Ashley Young right here, he finally sold for 4.5k. Uh, this guy I think I bought him for 150 and I sold him for 500 so that's a decent profit. Caesar only went for 1.6, I uh, don't really care because I hate him. Uh, Hayden Mullins I got for 150 again, uh, sold him for sold him for 450. Um, who is this? Alonso Mendoza, plays for Bolton, Spanish, uh, he sold for 600, that was a 200 coin buy I think, so I tripled my coins. Well. That's ignoring the EA tax, but I didn't quite triple it, but you know what I mean. Um, Jay Bostock I got for 150 as I showed you yesterday, I think. He sold for 450 Becchio sold for 2k. I got him for 950 Sold for 2.2, actually. Um, Castillo, this was an absolute steal. Uh, I couldn't believe it when I found him. And he's actually injured as well, so I really don't know why someone decided to buy him when he's injured. And, yeah. Um... I got him for 150, and I I was I was surprised because I've seen Castillo go for like up to 1.6k, so I def I just jumped on that and he sold for 850 50 coins. Um, Campbell Rice, 
another one that I got for 150 uh, sold for 500 same here uh, he sold for 550 sold for more uh, Gadetti I got from 150 sold for 450 this is just what I'm gonna be saying for the rest of the episode I got this guy for 150 again so for 350 it's only a small profit but like I'm buying in mass so it does add up and I am doubling my coins quite quickly um, Taylor Fletcher another guy I got for 150 and like you can even see like the majority of these players are in terrible positions as well I mean I mean terrible formations but they still sell so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm making quite a bit of profit on these players. Like um, Johnson, I think he was for about 300, and he sold for 600. So I'm not going to complain. Uh, this Taylor, um, I've had him before. I think I got him for 250, uh, and he sold for 500. Um, so I'll just quickly remove all these guys because I have quite a bit to add to my trade pile once again. Um, but yeah, um, later later today I should have um something new up, which is a door commentary with one of my friends. Uh, I should have another one up tomorrow as well because um, someone else asked me to do one last night, which was kind of ironic. Um, since me and my friend have been planning to do this door commentary for like a month and a half, maybe two months, but we've both been busy and whatnot, so it's been put off for quite a while, and we finally both got time that we can do it. So looking forward to that and it's something new uh, as you can see here Rodri I got for 250 hopefully I can get I can sell him for 450 uh, Keko got him for 200 he's a great player um, I have him in my road to glory well had him in my road to glory I just sold him and hopefully I can get around 600 coins out of him but he usually goes for around 400 so I won't I won't be too bothered uh, Philippe Dagen this was a bit of a risk I don't really know what he goes for but that like the majority of these players I don't really know what they go for I'm just taking the risk and so far it's paid off the majority of them uh, but Degen hopefully I can double my coins on him um, Martin hopefully I can double my coins uh, Becchio got for 1.4 hopefully I can get 2 out of him because he usually sells for around 2 um, another Becchio here I don't know why I've got a different buy now on him that's pretty stupid actually is he is in a better form formation as well so should be a bit higher but oh well uh, Nielsen I doubt he'll sell because goalkeepers are terrible to trade with I don't even know why I bought him I think that must have been an accident or something but um, yeah those are just the cards I've got to put up and I will quickly show you the cards that I just got wait who's how many have I got in my trade pile because I might not be able to yeah I can put all these guys in um, let's see I got Salgado for 200 hopefully selling for 4 or 500 um, auction is I am but yeah this is just what I'm this is just what I'm going to be doing for the next few days because it seems to work so if I can gain 5k in like half an hour or so then it is time consuming and it is a small technique but I'm just going to use this technique until I get to around 20 or 30k maybe actually actually maybe once I get to 40k then I'll start trading with informs uh, how much should I get this guy for oh shit Wait, use bio uh, 200 but yeah um, start trading with informs as soon as I get up to a certain amount and hopefully get this series moving and get um, Inform Thiago Silva first um, because Inform Ibra will take a long time um, oh, fucking hell. I keep forgetting to check these prices uh, 300 this guy was a bit of a risk I don't usually go above 300 but uh, he had pretty good pace so I thought maybe someone on the off chance would want to buy him um, but yeah I'm just gonna put all these guys up real quick and then I will be back in a second because this is taking quite a while actually actually I'll just go through all who I bought and then I will put them back up off um, video and then tell you whether they sold yesterday um, I mean whether they, sold, whether they sell tomorrow uh, got this guy from 150 hopefully I can get um, at least 350 out of him um, Simpson 
hopefully I can get around five six hundred out of him. Not too sure if I will. Uh, McCleary, hopefully I can get four five hundred, maybe six, if I'm pushing it. Um, this guy, um, Munari, I had him on my silver Italian team, and he sold for like one. I bought him for like one point five k, and he's in the four one two one two. So hopefully, I can make over a kick profit on this guy, but I'm not too sure. It's I'm not too sure if his price has dropped or anything, so we'll have to see about that. Um, Nick Bailey, hopefully I can double my coins at least on him. Um, this guy took a bit of a risk. I didn't want to go above um, 300 coins, but he did have 82 pace and for a right back, and he's in the BBVA. I couldn't let that pass. Uh, now Ranger, got him for 200 coins. Um, this guy, not too sure who you are, but 150 coins, I'm not going to pass that up because I'll at least sell him for 250, especially because he plays for Barcelona. Those guys sell like hotcakes. Um, Julian Bennett, how much is that? I got him for 200 coins. Another guy for 150, now range for another 200. Um, Ebanks Blake for 200, and Stephen Reed for 300. So. I missed out on Baptiste because I was not going that high for him. Um, when I was bidding, he was around 300, and I put a. I think I went up to 400, which is unusual for this technique, but um, I was willing to take the risk, but I decided not to because he went a bit too high, and I was like, fuck it, I'm not, I'm not taking a loss, so uh, I'll look for another one another day or later. But, um, I'm going to wrap it up guys because I've been chatting on for way too long. Um, sh might have a Road to Glory episode up today so feel free to check that out and the dual commentary should be up today as well or tomorrow depending on what, what time it gets done because uh, I've got to render it and all that stuff so that might take a while. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys and thanks for all the support on this series. It's been my most success successful series to date. Um, it's probably what's... what's um, brought my YouTube on this far. Um, I'm not exactly far but I didn't expect to get to 600 plus subs in this amount of time. Uh, a lot of people have done it faster than me but I, since I'm a live streamer and I didn't really have m much intentions of getting involved in YouTube, uh, this is more than I ever expected so i got to say thanks a lot guys and hopefully you'll continue that support. But anyway, um, thanks for watching guys, it's been Clutch, peace.